Coronary heart disease is currently one of the largest health burdens that Australians are facing today. This video will present a program that is aimed at tackling that health burden and trying to reduce it using a complementary medicine design program. Coronary heart disease can be categorized by the buildup of cholesterol in the body that creates a plaque in the arteries that then restricts blood flow to the heart. Risk factors are things such as stagnant lifestyle, diets that are high in saturated and trans fats, and high stress levels in daily lives of the, um, they, all those things can lead to coronary heart disease. So what is Australia doing about it now? Currently, we're using laws and regulations such as food labeling, urban planning, tax and price initiatives, and public awareness campaigns that are trying to improve the impact that obesity and diseases such as CHD possess. They're attempting to improve nutritional status, physical activity, heart health, education, as well as providing more access to heart health services. So why do we need more? Although the risk of CHD amongst Australians has decreased quite a lot in the last 10 years, it is still the largest health burden for men ages 49, 45 to 95 and women 65 to 84. So it does account for quite a large health um, portion of the population. How can complementary medicine help? Three key principles in naturopathic medicine is to treat the cause, prevention and to treat the whole person. We don't just look at what is medically wrong with the person, but we also look at what could be causing it, what, uh, is, what things we could do to prevent it happening, but we also like to bring the whole body, including the mind, body and spirit back to balance for health. This program will be an essential addition to the current CHD programs in Australia as it doesn't just focus on a large scale approach to assist in diet culture and physical lifestyle of the patients, but also recognizes that each patient will have a different story and each patient will need a different approach. The target population for this program is aimed at Australians living in rural, towns ages between 30 to 60 with either a predisposition for coronary heart disease or medically dis diagnosed condition of um, coronary heart disease. Patients who are eligible for the program will have to be either medically diagnosed as CHD or by a registered Australian medical practitioner or have a general practitioner diagnose them as predisposed. The program will be implemented over a 10 year time frame. It will be predominantly aimed at online interventions that are based on both food education, healthy lifestyle, and improving the physical activity of the individuals at risk. It will be an integrated program that works with current models that are in place for CHD health in rural communities, but also providing an additional online program, giving the customers access to online cooking videos, um, motivating physical activity in the comfort of their own home, but also the patient is able to work alongside general practitioners and the implementation of naturopathic medicine will be an additional means of the therapy for the patient. Due to the program being aimed in rural communities, the Australian Government Medicare will be included in this program as a free healthcare for pathology tests. The program will aim to bring patients from a chronic state to an acute state in one to two years and um, anyone that's at risk will reduce their risk by 50% in the first year. Objectives, so the overall goal will be to reduce the rate of coronary heart disease in Australia living in rural communities aged 30 to 60 years by 25% in the next three years and 50% in the next six years. Objectives will be to increase health education and food knowledge to make it accessible to everyone, to improve access to group physical activity programs in rural communities, and to improve access to natural therapies. This program is going to work, like in hopes to work, because it allows the patient to take on their own health journey, to report their own health journey, to learn about their own health journey, to 
interact, which has studies have found help quite a lot.